Hi, I'm Mike with Square V, and today we're going to be unboxing the Novastar VX6S all-in-one controller with the built-in scaling. So first off, we're going to open up this first cardboard box to reveal a second cardboard box. Here's the second cardboard box. I'm going to go ahead and lift up these tabs to get it open, and it will reveal a third cardboard box and the processor. Let's take them out. Okay, I'll go ahead and take off these foam sides and take the processor, put it over here for now. And let's take a look at the accessories box, which has a handy dandy packing list to tell us that there is a USB, DVI, HDMI, Cat5, Oh, and they give you four different power cables. Great, but we're only gonna need the American Standard power cable. Taking a look at the front of the VX6S, you have the power button there, the LCD screen. Here you have the menu buttons. This one you push in and turn side, push in to hit enter on the menu, spin it um, side to side to go up and down the menu. Escape goes back one menu screen. You have control, window one, window two, because on the VX6, you have the ability to put three uh, sources on the screen at once. So you'd have your main source. This would be window one. This would be window two. Here's window three here. And then the automatic scale button. So you click it in, it scales it. You unclick it, or click it, and it unscales it. Over here, you have the input buttons, HDMI. Well, we'll talk about those. Those are on the back. And you have the take button, which when you switch a source, it won't take effect until you hit the take button. And then the function button, which is a programmable button. And then here we have a U-Disc, which is you could plug a USB drive in there and read the media from it. And here is another USB connection, which is um, what you would plug into your computer. And then you can program the processor using the Novastar software. Here is the back of the VX6S. We start off with two connections to um, connect your computer to the processor via USB and then go ahead and program it using the Novastar software. An Ethernet connection so that you can hook this into your network and use Novastar's web page control to control your processor. Now we have the inputs right here which are we have two USB um, inputs. We have SDI, two SDI inputs. You have uh, two DVIs, two HDMIs, and then DVI loop. So if you have two processors on one wall, the way you want to deliver your content would be into the DVI um, here, and then out of the DVI loop into the DVI of the second processor so that the that will sync um, the content to the two processors. Now we have our output over here. You have a DVI out from monitoring, and then you have six LED outs, and you got to pay attention to the numbers when you're um, plugging them in because they don't really make a whole lot of sense, at least to me. Um, so yeah, six six outputs, 650, about 655,000 pixels per port for a total of 3.9 million total pixels that this, this processor will handle. And now we're going to go ahead and look through the menu. All right, turned on the VX6S. So let's look through the menu. The first thing you're going to see is screen brightness. You click once and then you can change it. And when you're done and you have it how you want it, you click again to enter it in. Then we have screen settings. You have a quick configuration, which is the easiest way once you've hooked up your wall. If it's just a rectangle with normal data runs, um, it snake through. You just come in here, you select how many panels or cabinets you have in the wall, or how many rows you have and how many columns. And then you enter how many cabinets or panels you have on the first data port. And then here is a data flow. This is showing the pattern that you wired your data cables um, throughout the video wall. And these are all the different options. And this is if you're looking at the wall from the front. So that's important. Once you have all those settings in, your, your first wall or your first window should be great. Should be ready to scale it. Um, but then here are some of the other features under this menu. Okay, window settings. 
Now the thing about this processor, the VX6 has three windows, so you can have three sources at once. So in each window you have these same settings. You go in here, you can enable it or disable that window, then you can select which input you want to show up in that window, and how many pixels high or wide that window is going to be, and then the start position that you want that window to show up on the overall screen, and then the priority is like the order that they'll show up um, if the and then the priority is like the order that they'll show up even if they're overlapping. And then you can crop um, your source. You can crop the window, not the source, no. Anyways, you can do that for all three windows. And then input settings, you have input resolutions, standard or custom for each input source, and then color adjustment on each input. Display control, presets, preset, image mosaic, which is, um, image mosaic is what you use when you have two processors for one wall. And basically what it is, you, you go ahead and on both of those two processors, you go in and you en first enable it on each processor and then you tell each processor how many pixels high and wide the entire wall is, the one that you want to make with the, both the processors, and tell how many panels um, high and wide, you know, how many, sorry, so how many rows and columns there are. And it will automatically split the pixel load between the two processors. It's really nice. Now it only, it works, it mostly only works when you're using the, um, any input like that you have to use crap now it now that only really works if you're using the DVI in and DVI loop because you have to have your source synced between the two processors anyways moving on we have advanced settings video sync mode action settings redundancy Monitor resolution, advanced properties, HDCP, and then the hardware version, which is actually the firmware version. And that is it. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> A factory reset here, communication settings, and language. And that is it. That's a quick, well, that was as quick as I could get through the settings of AVX6S.